Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Dynamic Coder. Today we're going to see that how we can able to install Sophos firewall in EVNG. So here on my screen you can able to see that we are on the page of Sophos firewall. So the first step you have to do is you just have to go to Google and you have to type download Sophos KVM image. Here you can see the second option where it's HTTPS hyphen docs.sophos.com just click on that so that will take you to this particular document now click on Sophos firewall trial and here you can able to see that they ask you to create your complete new Sophos profile if you already have then just enter your business email or whatever Google email that you created so here I have added my 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 business email I just agreed and click on submit okay when I click on submit they ask they'll send the email on my evaluation serial number as well and uh, I just type on KV KVM and click on download so here you can see that my KVM has been downloaded okay so let's wait for a while till the time the KVM download has been completed okay so now we are on our EVNG after installing and extracting the KVM image from the Sophos firewall let's log in to admin root password is eve we are into it okay the next step is we go to win scp and logged in using the evng credential as root.10.139 that you have created if you need all these devices to install in your evng i already created a videos in my youtube channel playlist you go into that and you can able to get with having the images as well from the google drive okay now let's uh, do it by having the win scp that we create a folder here so your win scp dashboard looks like this i have enabled i have opened the d drive folder of my device which is on the left hand side i'll go to d drive where i've saved the extracted image that contains two qcow2 image one is aux auxiliary and the other one is primary okay now i go to here when you showing up root okay so here this is the root looks like this before so go to opt double click unit lab double click add-ons double click umo double click and this is how you get it okay so here go to new create a directory the name as name it as sophos xg colon firewall colon 20.0.0 this this is my uh, version number okay select set permission tick mark everything the octal code will be four times seven press ok if you need to work or to install the sophos firewall using command line interface this is all the information you get so this is the format to format to name your folder name as sophos xg hyphen fw hyphen your version number so i did it in the same way in our win scp okay now double click and just control these two qca image and move this from left hand side to the right hand side so i've just drag and drop these two images okay once this is done you can see that this both has been done now you go to your evng and you go to this particular folder so it will be cd slash opt slash unit lab slash add-ons slash qmu slash sophos xg hyphen fw hyphen 20.0.0 as per the naming convention of given in evng okay so this is it now press enter you are in the folder now the next step here it shows as to move your uh, auxiliary and these files and you have to move it okay so for that to move the command will be mv then primary hyphen disk dot qcow2 we name it as virtioa dot qcow2 okay the for auxiliary the command is move auxiliary hyphen disk dot qcow2 to vir tio a b 
ओके वी आई आर टी आई ओ ए बी ओके डॉट क्यू का टू ओके दिस इज द वे यू री नेम नाउ आफ्टर री नेमिंग जस्ट टाइप द कमांड एल एस फन एल यू कैन एबल टू सी दीज ऑल आर द टू इमेजेस दैट वी डिड इट इन आर इन आर ई वी एन जी ओके सो दीज ऑल आर द टू इमेजेस यू कैन सी इट शोइंग वी आई आर टी आई ओ ए टी आई ओ बी ओके ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमूव द ऑक्जिलरी एंड प्राइमरी यू कैन डू इट बट वी आर जस्ट कीपिंग इट एज इट इज ओके एंड फॉर दैट टू 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 गिव दैम द परमिशन द कमांड इज नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू प्रोवाइड द परमिशन सो फॉर दैट द कमांड इज is slash opt slash unit lab slash addons slash opt slash unit labs slash wrappers slash unl underscore wrapper space hyphen a fixed permissions okay press enter so with the help of this we can set the permission to both the images okay so as you can see here on my evng that i got the address as http colon 192.168.10.139 so i add the same thing on the browser okay now i'll show you the setting of my evng so i go to my vmware workstation i right click go to settings here i'll show you that the network adapter i took so the first network adapter i've connected is bridge network so bridge is something that you are getting the internet via wifi or if your uh, uh, if your uh, laptop or your system is connected via lan cable so your lan ip address you getting it uh, if you select it as bridge the second i select it as vm net 1 okay so here on custom i selected vm net 1 if you want to check the ip address i just go to my system ncpa.cpl okay so here on vm net 1 i just right click go to properties so when i go to tcp ip you can see that i took the ip address as i add the ip address as 172.16.16.10 and which is slash 3 slash 24 okay and i use the dns server as following if you want to add this the same address over here i just kept it as it is press okay press okay i just close it so this is just the basic setting i just want to show you so here on your sophos firewall when you are connecting it or when you are adding the lab you should be taking care that your lan ip address should be 172.16.16.16 okay your port a ip address so when you registered via your sophos uh, evaluation license you get that uh, request as well so here on that uh, on mine you can able to see that under my gmail i able to get https 172.16.16.16-4 so it's the default port for sophos okay so this is the evng and i created the lab by selecting right click and node and like that right so node if i go to sophos i get the sophos xg in 4 and if i go to node i take it as windows so this is the windows machine so i have two windows machine so that's why i selected windows 10 and this is all up and running i just started by selecting this and i select this as management cloud this one okay network and you can see bridge so i selected management cloud to get the internet okay now i just enable both of it and you can see here that my windows 10 is also getting the internet and at the same time i have my sophos xg open over here okay so just when you i'll show you so this is all the default settings you will get okay so here this is the first one so i select one 
as interface settings so this is what the IP address I'll be getting okay so I go to edge because I, I have not installed Chrome just hold on here I'll add as HTTPS and this is the IP address as 172.16.16.16 just hold on for a while here just go to advance and continue this will take some time if you also want to check you just uh, go to CMD and type ping 172.16.16.16 slash t for continuous ping so here you can able to see that we are reachable towards 172.16.16 which is our SOFOS interface just close this so here you can see this is the first step we should just accept it and start setup click on next this will take some time to load so here is asking for administrative password I have added the password click on continue is asking for the master key just tick mark press continue so here you can see that I have got my same uh, license evaluation license key okay as my firewall name and it is asking me for the time zone so I'll just keep it as it is I press continue now I have an existing serial number here you can able to see that there are multiple checkbox given over here that I have existing serial number what I'll select is that I'll select this particular and I don't want to register now okay and I press continue okay now this is asking me for a bundle of basic setup this is complete okay, I press continue so this is all the default configuration okay so we just kept it we just going to keep it as it is press continue we will going to check mark all these four boxes which ask us about the network threats and malicious websites and zero day protection everything okay so as of now we just select all of these press continue it is asking for recipient email address so please enter your email address and unselect this so now this is asking for the configuration settings so here this is asking for configuration summary just press ok and so this is all finishing up
this will take some time please hold on for a while so as of now you can see here that I cannot have I didn't have the internet access but I just open and I have used the command ping and the IP address and hyphen T which is for which is for lifetime pinging okay so this is the way we can I can able to check that internet is there or not so this shows me that there is internet connectivity uh, towards the firewall and there is some glitch I think due to which the sign is not working where I can have the internet so I'm just waiting till the time this configuration changes everything and then I'll restart the firewall okay till the time just hold on so here you can see that all these three has been checkbox okay now I'm waiting to restart okay so my firewall will restart and then I'll have a fresh login to the firewall so here you can see that my firewall has been rebooted so now I am using the admin credentials so the username is admin the password is what I gave So here you can see on the screen that we are successfully into our Sophos dashboard.